Time for a Friday edition of Overheard on 3rd, 78th Annual Golden Globes this Sunday. So what better way to celebrate than bringing in our buddy Steve Kaki Kornacki and the big board mm -hmm. to break down what to expect. Oh, and, of course, gotta get we've got our, oh, yeah. our Steve Kornacki mugs with us. <laughs> got the khakis club. on it. Khaki, khaki pants. Steve. They're selling these in the gift shop now. <laughs> Good to see you, my friend. How you doing? Hey, good to see you guys, too. Uh, what a surprise. I, I wore the khaki, so I feel, I feel like I needed to, knowing that uh, there was a chance you guys might have the mugs. Let's take you through okay. some fun facts here about what's coming up, though. Okay. Sunday night, the big Golden Globes. Some nuts and bolts numbers for you. Mm -hmm. There are going to be 25 awards given out. Of course, this is the fun one. This combines movies and television. You got 14 movie awards, 11 television awards up for grabs on Sunday night. How about the actual statue itself? What you win if you get a Golden Globe? It weighs about eight pounds. Hmm. Basically, it weighs what a kitten would weigh. That's what you'll be <laughs> lugging around. Costs about eight. 800 bucks to make then how about this one all the red carpet that's out there what's the total area the total length the width of it they've got 30,000 square feet wow. of red carpet, of carpet. around this carpet place this so there's a lot of carpeting that goes into yeah. this too mm. still red carpet. so you know it's interesting Amy Poehler Tina Fey they'll be hosting again this year but we understand it'll be bi-coastal for the first time do you know how that will work yeah so there you, this is actually going to be also we should say the fourth time they've been doing it so you'll be separate locations this is one of those you know uh, COVID things that we've been seeing it's the fourth time they've been mm -hmm. hosting together and by the way They've served as hosts. Uh, Amy and Tina also have been nominated before. Tina Fey has won two Golden Globes. Amy Poehler has won one of them. And that leads me to a pop quiz for uh -oh. you guys. I don't have my game show jacket this time. Ooh. But I'm going to try your hand here at Golden Globes Trivia Knowledge. So we've got four actors, actresses on the screen here. Meryl Streep, Julie Andrews, Barbara Streisand, Paul Newman. Ooh. Which one of them? Let me step away here so you can see Paul Newman. Which one of them? has won the most Golden Globes. It's be a trick question. I feel yeah. like... But you think it's going to be Meryl, but I probably it's Street. not. It's Meryl Street? Mm -hmm. I'm going with Meryl Streep. Uh, you take the obvious? Paul Newman. Maybe Carson's right. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go with uh, Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand says Carson Daly, and the answer is... Barbara Look at you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Really? A I know little how bit of misdirection works. there. Certainly Meryl Streep leads the league in nominations. Yes. She's been nominated 32 times. Wow. What's interesting about Streisand is that number hits double digits because she took home two Golden Globes as a producer. Oh. Right. So you didn't right. necessarily immediately associate Streisand with the project, but she did get the Globe, so she does have the most Golden Globes from this list. Good job there, Carson. We'll Thank give you. you. Thank 100 you, points for that one. Appreciate that. Do you have any idea who's going to be taking away some awards this year, Steve? So this is the thing. Of course, you know, sports gambling. We were able to give you some of the odds on the Super Bowl a couple of weeks ago. They also have odds on the Golden Globes. Let's take you through a couple of the races right here. This is best picture drama. Here are the nominees and here are the odds you're getting if you mm. were to be placing a wager on this. And I think this is interesting because it just shows you the expectations game. And the expectations game is that this is a two a movie race right here. Nomadland and the Chicago 7 movie, each a 6-5 to five, you know, co-favorite. And then three long shots there. Mank, promising young woman, the father. Long shots on all three of those. Those are the expectations certainly heading into this. There's also this for the best picture, a comedy or a musical. Again, the overwhelming favorite here, Hamilton, oh, yeah. even yeah, money. Like Second choice is the Borat movie. <laughs> and then you've got Don't three long that. shots. you got music here. I know it's an interesting one. It was nominated. It was also panned by the critics. That probably <laughs> explains the long odds on this one. One more we could show you as well. For the animated movie, this is the biggest favorite on the board. I think it'd be the biggest upset on the night if anything but Soul won in this category. Yeah, Look at those odds. Yeah. The one to five favorite right there. So if you want to make some money here, you might want to throw out yeah. the favorite. But I don't know if Soul's going to yeah. lose. Hey, Absolutely. Steve, before we let you go, we understand there are a few potential firsts that could come out of the awards on Sunday. What are those? So a couple interesting here we could take you through. Number one, Sacha Baron Cohen. He could get two Golden Globes. He could take home two on the same night, of course, for the Borat movie, also for his supporting role in the trial of the Chicago That's 7. Right. So what potentially range. he could be the first male to take no. home two on the same night. There's also Anthony Hopkins, Sir Anthony Hopkins, 83 years old. He's nominated for Best Actor in a Drama. He would be the oldest winner in his category ever if he is able to win this on Sunday night. And there's Viola Davis. She could become the second black woman to win Best Actress in a Motion Picture Drama if she wins. 
the first, anyone remember the first black woman to win Best Actress? Go back to 1994. It was Angela Bassett. Oh, and that's what's right. love got to do with it? Man. That's right. Steve Cornell. Hey. Wow. a lot. Your that's talent really is boundless, <laughs> sir. You never, <laughs> never disappoint. Your board Steve is Cornell. boundless. Always Thank fun you so to do much. it. Always fun to be with you guys. Thank we appreciate you, it. Hey, don't forget, catch the 78th uh, Golden Globes Awards this Sunday, 8 p.m., right here on NBC. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.